Hey everyone, Averpal here, and today we're going to be playing the demo for The Greys, Rendlesham Alien Horror. And this has been developed by Nailed RC Games, and you can find it over Itch.io. I have a link in the description, you can all check it out. And this game's supposed to uh, be like the 1980s Rendlesham Forest Alien Incident, I guess. So, let's just get into it. It was a cold December night in 1980. Ooh, so cold. My colleagues and I will never forget. I was a young police officer stationed near Rendlesham Forest at the be nice if it wasn't just a black screen. Night would hold for us. I'd like to see something. As we stood there staring, we heard strange, unidentifiable sounds piercing the night. It was as if the forest was alive, as if it was responding to something we could not see. Some of the soldiers claimed... I hope everything's okay. <laughs> like, is this supposed to be all black right now? Especially when I hear that little... F okay, there we go. We got some stuff going on. The story is about a young man named Max Walker, just 25 years old. Max was no stranger to the YouTube cosmos and had his share of success there. I've never been much for the whole YouTube thing, but Max, he literally lived for it. His passion? Aliens, ironically though, he often made fun of the subject. A strange protective mechanism, I think. I guess you didn't want to expose yourself to ridicule just because you were interested in the unknown. That's just the way he was. And so he came up with the idea of going to Rendlesham Forest, that forest about which it is said that something happened there with aliens in 1980. Max wanted to make what he called a vlog. He sent me a message just before he left. Chloe, I'm really doing it now. You probably think I'm crazy, but I'm just doing it for fun and for YouTube. And it was his last message to me. However, I knew it was about more than just that for him. It was about his love for aliens. So I replied with a twinkle in my eye. Okay, Max, let me know when you discover something. Send me then an alien photo. And it was a small joke. Harmless and affectionately meant, but nevertheless... The bad consequence torments me until today. I regret so many things. Sorry, this will have to do for now. It's hard to move on. Simply hard. I wish we would just do a, the whole thing at once. I, I guess we're done. We can play. All right, characters moving all on their own. Is that normal? It's dark. UFO trail. Okay. You don't have to keep walking into that sign. Are we playing as? Are we playing as Max? Or are we playing as Chloe? We don't really explain too much. Uh, here we go. I can't turn that off. No jumping. No sprinting either. Where's the trail? Is this the trail I'm supposed to take? I think so. Control. Huh? What about control? Oh, it's telling me the controls. Okay. Move, interact, zoom, glow stick. I don't have glow stick. Okay. Uh, don't worry about that then. Still be nice to have a sprint. All right, we gotta search the forest. Pick up anything? Nope. Just gonna be going into the woods. Hmm. Alien activity zone. Are they serious? It's a little funny. They really believe there are aliens here. But guys, don't get me wrong. We all know the story. And once I experience something crazy, you want to hear it? Believe me, you will never forget it. So. Okay. What the fuck? Sound like a tree fell. Not just that. Guys, I'll tell it like it is. That was scary. But that's exactly what we wanted. That's why we're here. You wanted the challenge? Let's do it. Okay. Be careful of falling trees, I guess. Definitely don't want to get crushed. 
You'd never get to see the aliens. So far, this is a pretty boring alien trail. Nothing. Not aliens, not even Bigfoot. Uh huh. No gray figured beings behind any trees? No? Good. Links a YouTuber will go for clicks and views. Oh, a flashlight. We could always use a second flashlight. Wait, where's the trail? This is the end of it. Oh, there's a glow stick. Yoink! Gimme. Okay, I cannot pick up the glow stick. Okay, that that's great. Glow stick place. You can place glow sticks in certain places. These can serve as a guide, so you can look around. Oh, I have to put one there. Okay, I get you. Get off my screen. Wow. Red glow stick. That still doesn't help me in knowing where I am. Am I supposed to go through the woods? Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this at all. I can go through. Oh, I thought I had to stay on a trail. I'm gonna get lost. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Wait, I can't go out that way? I can go this way. I don't know where I'm going. Really didn't help me out much with this. I don't see anywhere else I can put glow sticks. Well, I only got four left, so... I guess we don't want to waste them. Just put them all down willy-nilly. Keep wanting to sprint. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm just kind of trying to find, like, the borders... Where they allow me to go? I think this is it. Although, I don't know. I, I, I keep going in this one direction. Maybe I should try somewhere else. Seems like they don't want me to go... Never mind. I can now go this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I shouldn't have went into the woods. This was a horrible mistake on my part. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, a trail. We're good. Wait a minute. Wait just a cotton picking minute here. Is this the same road we were on before? Where we started? Oh no. Am I going the right way? I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna go down here. Okay. Eh, it's dark. Is it supposed to be dark like that? Yeah, flashlight don't work, dude. That's great. You didn't come with full batteries? What were you thinking? Great. Which way should I go? Which way do I go, George? Which way do I go? This way. Sure. They're every way is about the same, right? I mean, wait, I can't go down there? Oh, okay, I'm going this way then. Hey, my flashlight's back. Wait, this one down there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, is that one of the greys? Check all around. Well, we found one. That's all that matters. Now, I there's, there's no way I'd be able to find my way back. Unless I was supposed to put a glow stick down when I got out of the woods, but I don't know how that would work. Hey, wait, it's gone. Oh, you son of a... Get for not paying attention. 
You've eluded me this time, Gray. I will find out where you are. The world needs to... No? What the... Oh, here we go. Wait, just a... Oh, what? I'm back at the same spot. Is it like so... Wait, wait, wait. Interact. A flashlight. As if there are other people in this forest here. Wait, did I just see red down there? I can't tell. It was so quick. Wait. Wait. What is that? Light down there. And what's that? Campsite? Alright. Can't interact with that. Wait, the heck? Oh, I can. Oh, these are other bushes. I can't get through them that way. I'm tearing my skin. All right, well we go this way then. Glow stick. All right, that's a glow stick spot. Nope. Where should I put a- I can't put a glow stick anywhere? Okay. Oh, what's this? Wood. It's wood! Poor sign. Newspaper article about the incident. The story about the 1980 incident in Rendlesham Forest. Rendlesham Forest incident was a series of reported sightings of unexplained lights near the Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk, England in December 1990, which became linked with UFO landings. The events occurred just outside RAF Woodbridge, which was used at the time by the United States Air Force. USAF personnel, including Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles I. Holt, claimed to see things they described as a UFO. The occurrences is the most famous of UFO events to have happened in the United Kingdom and is among the best known reported UFO events worldwide. It has been compared to the Roswell UFO incident in the United States and is sometimes called Britain's Roswell. Yeah, not even coming up with an original name. UK Ministry of Defense has stated that the event posed no threat to national security and therefore it was never investigated as a security matter. Skeptics have explained the sightings as a misrepresentation of a series of nocturnal lights, a fireball, the Offordness Lighthouse, and bright stars. I just coming up with excuses for what it could be. We know the truth. Oh, we have a UFO right here. Ah, the other side had the paper. All right, I'm, I'm just looking around. I wonder if there was anywhere else I could put a uh, glow stick, but I guess not. Oh no, right here. UFO is supposed to represent what you supposedly land in 1980. Many tourists take pictures here. Oh, it's not real. Not a real one. Should have known. All right. Well, the ah, oh, the trail keeps going. Ha <laughs> ha. The lead has not gone cold. Oh my god, I really didn't want to keep going in circles. I, th I thought that's what I was going to be doing. Well, it is kind of discombobulating going through the woods like that, trying to figure out where to go, especially when they have invisible walls. Can we just go around? Oh, I found some cool stuff. A laptop in the forest? Who's kidding me? It still works. What? Hey guys, and right, this is by Isabella Bella Clark. I can't believe it, but I started my secret mission today. I went to the mysterious forest to look for those supposed aliens. Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds totally crazy, but I just couldn't resist. I mean, how cool would it be if aliens actually existed? You will laugh, but I have heard that there are people out there who are firmly conv uh, convinced of this. <clears throat> and you know what? There's actually a case where an American testified in court under oath that he saw UFOs. 
Yeah, well, that doesn't mean anything. People lie under oath all the time. I mean, if that's not proof, I don't know what is. I don't know, maybe like actually getting one captured? <laughs> uh, where am I? I've also heard about these stories that the alien supposedly live underground. Crazy, right? That's why I've been digging everywhere today. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a secret alien lair. But seriously, guys, I'm really just here for fun. I don't really believe in aliens. But at least it's an exciting change from my normal routine. And if I'm being honest, the forest is a bit scary, especially when it gets dark. But don't worry, I have my flashlight with me. No, I think I picked up your flashlight. You never know what you might find in the dark corners of this forest. So I'll keep my so I'll keep you posted if I make any mysterious discoveries. In the meantime, I'm just enjoying the adventurous atmosphere and feeling like I've landed in a sci-fi movie. See you soon, Bella. Bella. Alright, I'm trying to put that down. Come on. Come on. Light one up. Okay. It's not letting me put a glow stick down here. That's not good. I can't crouch to get closer to it. Okay. I guess I'm not putting one down. Oh, now I can? Oh, I just had to be more leveled. Jeez, I'm stuck in there. Alright, we did that. So, but over here we hit the wall. Didn't we? Wait. Oh. People are fucking machete. What's it doing here? I've only seen it on TV. Is Jason in the forest? Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that us picking it up? I hear screams too. Yeah, let's uh, put that down. Check this. There's a backpack in the middle of the forest. What is this strange and creepy document? An or extra hearing before a confidential congressional committee, John Brunch, a former employee of a secret government facility, provided startling testimony that could turn the notion of extraterrestrial life on its head. Under oath, John Brunch claimed that non-human objects have been covered up for decades by top government agencies. During the hearing, John Brunch recounted shocking observations and information he had gathered during his time in the service. Hmm... He claimed that he personally witnessed experiments and tests involving aliens. John Brunch stated that he had seen remains of these non-human beings being studied by the government. Perhaps John Brunch's most disturbing revelation was that these aliens could supposedly live underground because they were unable to survive due to conditions on Earth's surface. He claimed that the classic appearance known as greys is actually a protective suit they wear to protect themselves from our environment. In addition, John Brunch testified that numerous UFO sightings have been documented by the military, many of which have never been made public. These UFOs, according to John Brunch, were technologically far superior and controlled by a secret organization operating outside the regular government hierarchy. John Brunch's shocking statements raised many questions and have sparked a heated debate about the existence of extraterrestrial life. The government has so far refused to commit on these revelations. Man, we have one glow stick left. Where do you want me to go? This is confusing. I shouldn't have to look around like this in the woods. Tell me where to go. Give me like a little light in the distance. That would be good. I'm going to go in circles. I know it. I don't want to go in circles. I already interacted with this, right? Talking about the bush. Wait. What just happened? I'm a little confused as to what I, oh, I moved the bush out of the way. Oh, I see yellow. That's a good sign. Hot dog. We're on the right path. Interact. Interact. There's a book. A book about the forest. I know the forest. But eh. Pendlesham Forest. A somber oasis. Of nature in the United Kingdom holds secrets that have endured for centuries. The ancient woodland stretching over hills and valleys has always fascinated those who face the inexplic uh, inexplicable, but it's 
Only the mystical ore that surrounds Rendlesham Forest is also the strange events that lurk in the shadows of the trees. The darkness of the forest is impenetrable, even during the day. A thicket of trees, brush, and mysterious paths weave the landscape into a labyrinth of uncertainty. This place has a unique ability to entice and frighten people at the same time. It is said that those who enter the forest never forget its dark aura. Over the decades, stories have spread about unexplained phenomena and unusual encounters in Rendlesham Forest. Sightings of lights in the sky, strange sounds from afar, and the feeling of being watched are just some of the elements that make up the mystery of this place. While Rendlesham Forest is breathtakingly beautiful during the day, it transforms into a place of unease after dark. Tales of wandering shadows, eerie sounds, and strange lights have captured people's imagination and led to the forest becoming a symbol of the unexplainable. It is hard to say what truths Rendlesham Forest hides and what stories have sprung from people's imaginations, but one thing is certain. The forest holds a secret deeply rooted in its history, which may never be fully revealed. Meh. That's fine. Can I put a glow stick down over here? No, I can't. A sleeping bag. Crazy, some of us have slept in this forest. The light is still on as well. This means... Oh, come on. Now what do I do? I read that. Check this. No other things to do. Can I just go through the woods? Oh, I cannot. Yeah, you're blocked. Ah. Yeah, they don't want me going through. Meh? Signs of life. Right there. Okay. Saw blue. Oh, it's like, ah, uh, keep going through the woods. I don't know if I should. I went to the blue lights and there was nothing there. Whoa. Oh. All right, no trouble. Someone seems to have been digging here. But, okay, I used up all my things. Is that what I was supposed to do? Eh, I'm kind of trapped in this. Oh no, I'm trapped in here. Oh no, I can get out. Ah, oh, there we are. That was weird. Those aliens can't handle being... Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm at the campsite again. What's that? It'd just be a rock. Since I have no idea where I'm going, I'm just going to go and check it out real quick. Yep. Rocks. Eh, skip rocks. Or go kick rocks. I I've used all my things. I've checked everywhere. I am so lost. I don't know what to do. Yes, get. I could go back to the campsite. Or. Yeah, campsite. <laughs> yes. Run. Okay. You got it. We're gonna run and get out of here. Stay.
stay on a trail. Go, 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 go. Aliens have finally decided to come. Freedom. Ah, you stupid aliens. I beat you. Right? Wait. This isn't the normal path. Uh oh. And then... Is that me breathing? Uh oh. Look up. To gray. Ah! Wait. Is that our guy screaming? I don't know. I'm in a different place, but I still can't move yet. Oh, there's crying. Dude, stop your crying. You're going to let them know we're here. Unless that's us crying. look anywhere it, <laughs> uh this is going on too long it, gotta do something come on is it glitched did my game break What, what, what? It just went to black. Was it supposed to do that? Oh, okay. Thank you for playing the demo. We look forward to joining you on our on your journey through the mystery of Randlesham Forest. Please note that the version is only a preview of the full gameplay experience. Some gameplay elements and features may not yet be included as we work to create the ultimate experience. We would like to point out that this demo is intended to give you a first impression of the atmosphere and basics of the game in the upcoming demo versions. We will introduce more exciting gameplay features that will deepen the gameplay experience. Gray's Rendlesham Alien Horror is a game created by indie developers with passion and dedication. Stay up to date and learn more about the development of this unique indie horror game. We encourage you to follow us on our social media channels. Visit our Twitter account and YouTube channel for exclusive insights, updates, and announcements. All right, so that was the demo for The Greys, Rendlesham Alien Horror. Not bad. Uh, I kind of wish we got to see the aliens a little bit more, except for that one little shot at the very end. It's kind of hoping when it said run, we'd be getting chased and we'd actually get to see them come after us. Not much going on when it comes to the aliens, but it was just a demo. Who knows, maybe after they grab you, you get to deal with them more, trying to escape from them. Still, and also, I didn't like the whole having to go through the woods, not knowing where to go, because you, you get to one spot, you look around through the trees, you don't see any lights, really, so you don't know what direction to go in. A lot of going around, getting lost. But, I guess that's what happens when you go in the woods. So on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.